And time for my commentary for the lesson of free agency. So this is a very interesting topic for me, the idea of a free agency and the idea of thinking of yourself as a free agent. I like to use a sports as a great comparison, as a metaphor. A metaphor is a comparison, as you know. So if you think of yourself like a um, sports star, if you think of yourself, um, let's say if you think of your favorite sports stars, so maybe your favorite soccer or football player, so you can imagine that they are free agents, right? They usually don't stay with just one team for their entire career. A few of them might do that, but most of them actually moving around. Maybe they start with one team when they are younger, and as they become better and better, and then more and more teams want them because they have more skills, they have uh, more ability, we can say. So they accomplish more, so they get more attention. And as they get more attention, more teams want them. And of course, as more teams want them, they get paid more. The really great players can make huge amounts of money because all the really big teams want them and all the big teams are willing to pay them a lot of money. So they have a job security, we can say, in a way maybe not with one team, but any time they want to play, they can play. Somebody will hire them, no problem. So this is the idea I want you to imagine when you think of your own career. Maybe you are a salesperson, maybe you are an accountant, maybe you are a teacher like me or trainer. It doesn't matter actually. What you are, you can still think like a free agent. You don't want to be caught, right? The bad soccer players, the bad foot, football, football players, they are caught. The teams cut them and they don't have a job anymore. But the really great ones, they always have a job. As long as they are still playing and they are still healthy, they can get a job with a team and they, they, they can even make lots, lots, lots of money. So, you want to be a superstar too. You can be a superstar accountant. You can be a superstar salesperson. You can be a superstar teacher like me or superstar manager, right? But that's the attitude you need to have. Another way to think about this is that you are a brand, remember? We talked about the brand in our uh, lesson for the free agency. I just wanted to bring up another example here. An example of a brand is, let's say, Coca-Cola, a Coke. That's a drink. That's a specific brand. It has a very unique, special taste, and it has a special colors. You know that the red and white that Coke uses, and they have a certain logo, and so it's unique. It's different from Sprite, it's different from beer, it's different from coffee. And of course, the Coca-Cola company spends a lot of money to advertise that brand so that you can remember it. So when you see the red can, you see Coke immediately. And you know that this is kind of a sweet drink, bubble drink. You already know all of this about it, right? Well, so you want the same, I think, thing for yourself, guys. You want certainly your boss, your co-workers, and the people in your company to also have a very clear idea of who you are, what you are good at, and how you are special. You want all these people to know very clearly how you are special, how you are strong, what you are good at, again, so what you bring to the table, how you benefit them, how you contribute. So this is something you should really think about. Not just the idea, but I really want you to think about 
What is that you are good at? How are you special? What are your strengths and um, and weaknesses and special strengths? And you know, make them stronger and learn how to communicate them and show them more. So Tom Peters, uh, he's a business writer. Um, I, I recommend his books, Tom Peters. Uh, he talking he talks about the idea of a brand new. I think that that that's the name of one of his uh, books actually, uh, brand new. It's it, it's this the whole idea that you are kind of a special brand, just like a cock or just like an apple. That you also want to have a brand, a special image, a unique image that people know. They know what you are good at again. So they know what you can do. They know kind of your personality. What's special about you. And of course you get better. Uh, actually, as you get better, you know, uh, as, as this gets stronger. And other companies will start to know about this too. And when you go looking for jobs or if you are interviewing, then also that strong brand. And that strong, unique, special quality will come out. This will be clear. This is going to help you long term have a really great career. So you can be a superstar. Now, there is a good process for this. In the beginning, where you are now, maybe you feel like you don't have a strong brand. Maybe you are not a superstar yet. And that's okay. It's normal. You have to develop this. It takes some time. The first step in doing this is to learn. I talked about this, you know, learning uh, about your company, learning more skills. I think a great phrase to remember this is learn first, then earn. So learn then earn. So of course the earn means to make money, to get, to receive. And you know what learn means already, right? So you have to first learn. You have to focus on learning first. Even if you have a job or several jobs that you really hate, you know, you don't enjoy them and maybe they are not um, paying you much money. Maybe they are sorry, you are earning right now is a quite low or maybe your earning right now is not what you want. You want earn more, right? You want to make more money. Well, so to do that, you need to learn more first. You need to learn more skills. You need to learn more about your whole business. Whatever your business is that you are in. Again, if you are an accountant, if you are a teacher, if you are a salesperson, whatever it is, you need to learn more. So I think that I talked about learning more about the whole company and the big picture. But you also need to learn more skills. You constantly need to be learning. Um, I think this is just one benefit. Maybe the only benefit of a, of a bad job. So any job you have, even if there is not a much to do. Uh, let's say, uh, I think that there is a still some possibility to, to learn something from it. Even if you hate it. As I said, you know, uh, like back into uh, 2015, 14, uh, I was a bit younger. I had many, many, many jobs. So that. So most of the time I hated them. I always learned something from those jobs. And over time I, I learned more skills, more skills, more skills. And eventually that allowed me to get better jobs. Jobs that I liked more, that I enjoyed more and uh, paid me more money. But again, I really hated that job. So this is an important attitude to have. Learn as much as you can, especially in the jobs that you hate. Especially when you are not making much money. See, in those jobs, most of your co-workers will not do much. They will just do the minimum. 
they don't care because they don't like the job. Maybe it's not a, a great job, you know, but I think that if you're trying to learn and to be a superstar at that job, I think then, then people will start to notice you. You know, let's just uh, say that you are a janitor. You know, you are just cleaning the office, right? You, you vacuum and you clean. Well, most janitors, they just do the basic job. But you could be a superstar janitor. You could do an incredible job of cleaning, first of all, so that everything is super clean. But then you could also start learning extra skills. You could start learning about the business that you're working for, the office where you're at. You could start learning more about the uh, building. You could start learning more about the people who work there, talking to them. And you could start getting more skills than just cleaning the office. So in this way, you start to connect with people. People start to notice you. They start saying, wow, like that guy or that woman is kind of special. They are not like a, uh, all other janitors. There's something different about them. A janitor, I said, like, it's just a person who cleans. But you can be a superstar janitor. And eventually, that will help you. I guarantee it will give you the chance to go higher or do something else. And this is true for any job you have. Learn as much as possible. And the next step is to push your strengths to become special in one or more ways. I think the easiest way to do this is to focus on what you are already good at, what you are already strong at, and make it stronger and stronger and stronger. I will give you an example from my life. So, as an English teacher, I realized that I had some strengths and I had some weaknesses. My weakness was that I hated paperwork. I didn't like textbooks. I hated all the normal activities that the most English teachers do. So I decided that I'm not good at that. So I, I, don't, I don't like it and I don't think that it's useful. But I knew that I was very good at having a lot of energy about, you know, uh, really caring about my students, about understanding my students very well. And I also knew I was pretty good at coaching and leading and motivation. So I decided to get better and better and better at those things. I started to read books about leadership, motivation, psychology, language learning, the science of language learning, the biology of language learning. I studied, you know, like other language teachers. I read research about language teaching and language learning. I read research about motivation and psychology. I constantly learned about these things. And I tried using them in my classes. As a result, I think I became different. I became special. I think that I wasn't the same, still is not the same as all of the other English teachers. And of course, eventually, you know, I started my own company. But before that, I had a lot of kind of different jobs. It became very, very easy for me to get a new job. Very easy because I was different. I wasn't the same as everyone else. Like I became a free agent, more like a superstar. <laughs> It was easy for me to go from one school to another, to get higher job, to make more money, or to have more freedom, whatever I wanted. So, guys, you have to increase your strengths. You have to do more than most people do. You have to learn more than most people learn. 
even if you are not getting paid paid sorry much you have to have faith you have to believe that in the long term trying harder and learning more and doing more in your job even if you hate it even if the, the pay is low you have to believe that eventually that will help you to get a better job the job that you enjoy more that pays more money it's just an important attitude to have in that way you build your own brand you make yourself special and you start to become a superstar and that will give you a great career it will give you jobs that are more fun that you enjoy more it will give you more freedom of course and it will make it will help you make more money i can say like all of these things so in your job whatever it is right now if you don't have a job of course go get one first so i'm going to teach you how to do that in the future lessons just 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 be superstar in your job whatever it is and eventually you are going to go up 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 all right guys see you in the next lesson have a good day bye bye